Welcome back to World Beta Wrestling. Uh, I'm here today talking about three common mistakes for the body slam. Body slam obviously being one of the fundamentals of pro wrestling and much like the hip toss episode, I do believe that a lot of people make some simple mistakes that really change the overall presentation of the move. Uh, so the first thing, we'll go through how to do a body slam or at least the way that I like to teach it and then we'll talk about those common mistakes. First thing, person giving it, so I'll be giving this body slam. You've got to be as close as you can, all right? So when you go right arm under, you really have to get as far under as possible. As soon as there's space between the bodies, it's harder on the person giving it. You're not going to get that really high lift and post. So that's, that's the first thing that I like to always teach. Um, the first mistake that I see people make is with the hand placement as they are posting, taking that body slam. Much like the hip toss, the higher we post, the more height we can get. So if you're posting down at the knee, you're gonna limit your height on that body slam. So generally, thumb and fingers down again, much like the hip toss, on this part of my body. Now, as I lift Kaz up into the air, we're actually gonna switch the hand to the other side and I'll show you why. So we'll go from here, we're gonna throw the arm over the shoulder, nice and deep. We're gonna come down and up and watch the way that he switches those hands. Now what that does is, it stops the hand from blocking across the body. It allows him to get his head up into the air, head and chest up. Now keeping the head up, that's the second point of reference. That's the second error I see people make. They post, they get their legs around and their head goes straight down. They're ready to tuck, they're ready to break for, which is great. But we wanna see that initial chest and head up, show the audience your face, show your emotions before you get tucked in for that body slam. Point number three is just the timing. So when you're giving a body slam, and the same goes for any slam takedown suplex, we always wanna have a down and an up. Okay, so if I go down and up, not only am I using my entire body to lift, my opponent knows that it's time to go down and up as well. If I just shoot straight up, it's a bit of a guessing game. So when I give this one, this one's a little bit more of a Japanese style. Uh, it's the way we did it overseas. I'm going to lift my left leg up and come down with it. Okay, so instead of keeping my feet together, I'm gonna lift the leg up, down, up, tuck that chin, finish the body slam. So we'll go through all three points in one go. If you want to see more videos like this, click on the subscribe button, spread the word, and if you have any questions or requests for World Beater Wrestling, don't be afraid to comment below.